Yes, hello guys. Uh, I just see opportunity to quickly sh um, show us how I used to do my trimming. This one is very, very good opportunity for me to show it clearly. Um, my account, this account, especially this particular account, was edged yesterday based on the news that it was released. This account, you can see that I have 0 .01, 0 0.1. Uh, lot size and uh, if you look at it uh, from here this is 0 0.01 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 in selling so it edges it with 0 0.1 edge you understand guys so now how do we manage this kind of situation and uh, you can see when i'm saying that i don't use stop loss you can see my stop loss everything is empty now and I've done what we call capital allocation. Capital allocation for pounds is what pounds is using. So the capital allocation I did for pounds is what pounds edge. So it can never affect other assets. You know, if you can, if you can understand, if you can try to understand the way I trade, I don't care about all this chart. I don't care about all this candle. I care about my simple arithmetics that I'm using. And if you can understand simple arithmetics, you don't need the big mathematics. Simple arithmetics, I'm telling you, you are going to, broker is going to struggle with you to take one dollar of your capital. All right. Now, what am I going to do? If you look at uh, this asset, this one is, let's say, five. Five plus, um, five plus nine, that is uh, uh, 14. And I, I'm sitting on 20, 21 positive here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close this uh, 21. Then I'm going to close this uh, 4 and 9. Okay. Then I'm going to come here on, on my pounds USD. I'm going to come here and do what? 0 0.08 and buy to edge it back. Good. Now, what did I do? What I do, what I did there is very simple. I'm going to show us. Now, I have 0 0.01, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let me arrange the, okay, let me arrange it properly again. So let, let's come back here. 0 0.01, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 9, okay. Nine. That means I made a mistake in the in the in the calculation. This is nine. So here, I supposed to have zero point zero nine. So I'm going to close this. Then I put zero point zero nine. So now, if we count again, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and I'm going to have edge it with buy nine. Now let's go back to what I close. I close, let me erase. I close this three. Okay, uh, which this three is going to give me? Let me arrange the, okay, let me, okay, now I've arranged it. You can see the 10 lot give me 22. So let me bring out my calculator. So we have 22.30, that's the 10 lot. And I close minus 9.23 is equal to this, minus 4.0, 4.50, sorry. We still have eight and minus eight, 0 0.008 that I made a mistake minus 0 0.88 and this is the profit I'm sitting on despite the fact that I close it you know so now this is what we call edging trimming I see trim and I see sit on a profit and what happened is that I trim and I reduce my edge you remember 
before we have 0 0.1. I, uh, why we have 0 0.1, I don't even know because it's supposed to have 0 0.10. Let me count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay? So I now need to edge it with buy, <coughs> buy position 9. This is how you are going to treat. So if you use stop loss, this account must have gone to the broker's wallet as their own profit. Why you are the one that is losing. So it's just a matter of understanding what we're doing here. There's nothing big in this thing. It's just understanding that you just have to think out of the box that stop loss is not what you really need in trading. What you really need in trading is simple arithmetic, edge your trade, and know how to manage your trades. Once you know this trade, you are at rest of mind. You are at peace. You are freedom out of the educa fake education that brokers are giving to you as a retail trader. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, good evening, everyone. Uh, morning and afternoon, wherever you're watching this video. Uh, today, uh, in a couple of hours ago, I show trimming, how I do my trimming on my, any of my edge assets. So I see have another opportunity that I want to show how I'm going to trim this uh, account. And you can see that it's only GU, GBP USD, that has edge. And how do we know it's edge? Because if you look at the uh, dollar cost averaging up to this level, you can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero point nine lot size uh, in, in cell. And we have only one lot size, zero point nine that edge. So now, Trimming, there are two ways to solve edging problem. Is that by trimming or by rollover? The, the, the one I want to do now is trimming. When you trim, uh, you, don't, you don't give part of your profit back to the market. But when you roll over, you give part of your profit back to the market. Um, this video, in my opinion, this is where I trade and this is what I normally preach for everyone. You can see, if you look at uh, my stop loss, it's always zero because I don't use stop loss. I'd rather edge than to use stop loss. So now, if you look at this level, I got $15.39 something. And if you look at this level, I got 11 minus 11. So I'm still on profit. So I'm going to click, I mean, close uh, two of them. So now I've opened the leg and I need to go back edge it back by 0, 0 0.08. Then I'm going to buy. Remember, we are edging. So now, if you look at it, uh, I started from edging from 0 0.10 and now I'm sitting on 0 0.08. And you can see, despite the fact that I'm edging, I'm still keeping some profit of, uh, of my trade. I mean, the profit for the day. So why am I edging? Why do I edge? I edge because I don't want the, the allocation of my capital for pounds. I don't want my drawdown to, I don't want pounds drawdown to go beyond uh, the capital I budgeted for, for it. And what do I mean by this? there's a way I allocated capital for each asset I'm trading. So this is one of my strong um, money management skill that I use. Actually, it's, it's not what you can see anywhere in, the, my, in, in YouTube or wherever places that they are teaching you Forex trading because I don't do what other people do. I only use arithmetics and common sense with my trading. So if you look at uh, today, we have tried to trim two, uh, two times pounds, and this is how we are going to trim pounds until we come out of this edge. 
or it will come out of this edge completely. But other assets like uh, uh, AUD, Euro USD, and uh, US Shaf, and US JPY, all this one will be making money while you are solving edging of the pounds. So if we, if by next week I don't have opportunity to trim, then I will do what is called rollover. So this is the way I've been trading for years. And uh, I, I can conf confidently tell any one of you guys that I, I, manage, I, I manage my portfolio for years without blowing the account because everything I'm doing is based on money management risk, capital allocation, and my small arithmetic application to my trading system. So this is what I want to quickly show us um, in this video today. Thank you.